Hello and welcome to In the Hyperloop. My name is Blake. Let's get started with the news pod. So it is day two of this Hyperloop conference in Golden, Colorado, um, put on by HARP, Hyperloop Advanced Research Partnership, a nonprofit. Um, haven't heard much um, as to day one, um, but they have been recording it and they will be streaming live again on Zoom uh, today. So try to catch it. Um, we have seen a little bit of press um, like, is Hyperloop still on Colorado's transportation radar? Um, we hear from uh, the head of the Colorado Department of Transportation saying there's a lot of technology feasibility questions that have been answered with Hyperloop. It's an interesting technology that will continue to be explored in places across the country, but in no place is it up and running right now. So um, there's also a little bit more press um, about the conference itself, discussing technology, environmental impact. Um, and so it's just fascinating. And there's uh, opinion pieces um, in the local newspaper here um, about how people are interested in, in Hyperloop um, and you know common concerns about um, infrastructure in Colorado and uh, just really kind of an interesting microcosm of Hyperloop um, in practicality. Um, next, um, another news article um, about Hart's Hyperloop and their pod reveal. Um, this is a really interesting, kind of a good uh, basis um, about what Hart wants to do. Um, and they want to build a 30 meter test track in a Hyperloop, uh, you know, a testing center. Um, the original plan in 2017 was to connect to Amsterdam and Paris as early as 2021. Um, in just 30 minutes, and those plans have not been rehashed. Um, so, you know, we're, they're working with different companies um, to build it, and, um, you know, just a brief mention about the Hyperloop pod competition and how the VAR, now TUM Hyperloop team, uh, won it at 457 kilometers per hour. So that's pretty good. So um, next, we're going to another... Um, news article um, about Zelleros and the Spanish um, Hyperloop company that created the working group um, to discuss with other organizations um, how to implement um, Hyperloop and um, it's a really interesting article um, how Spain would uh, look at Hyperloop because they already have high-speed rail there um, and uh, it's just a really kind of interesting way to get companies together um, and the Spanish companies in particular. Um, so yeah, I would give, highly recommend you read this. Um, it's a great article and we'll put a link in the description. Um, and always, as always, we're going back to Instagram to look at the latest news from SpaceX pod competition teams. Delft Hyperloop has released a lot of good stories that I'd highly recommend you check out. Um, uh, you know, all the competition members are tough. Um, do you have any software engineers? And it's totally autonomous, their vehicle. Um, so they're combining technologies from last year. Yes, they have industrial design engineering teams and business and you they yes they've used VR um, why are you using pneumatic this is uh, so you can manage more energy storage and lighter weight um, how much is the whole project costing while well, they are trying to use as much as in kind uh, donations as possible um, yeah um, they always want uh, volunteers and people to help out um, Getting into the tube is the most important thing, and yes, they survived the earthquake and they're still alert. Um, and low pressure environment is for higher speeds. Um, and they plugged their hyperloopconnected.org uh, website that has all those fascinating articles. Yes, you can, um, any kind of level of education <laughs> at Delft University. And uh, what's the motor that's used? Um, small brushless DC motors, um, optimal performance, and it looks like they're already starting to recruit for next year's team probably, and Azja is doing well over there, um, 
can you please tell how mechanical engineers contribute? Uh, well, they contribute in suspension, braking, and propulsion departments. Um, this is a good... So they don't really give away how fast they think that they can go in the pod or in the tube, but um, the top speed will decrease approximately 60 kilometers an hour without the vacuum. Um, they now have a nice working um, spot um, at Eric's uh, in Los Angeles and only 13 more days and um, seven more days until testing week. Um, so yeah, good job Delta Hyperloop for making those Instagram stories. We really like them. Um, in the meantime, Swiss Loop is still in Switzerland uh, testing their pod. And this is a cool video. And this pod reached 117 kilometers per hour in 50 meter test track. And the camera fell over because it was going so fast. So let's watch it one more time. Well, it looks pretty fast. So congratulations, Swiss Loop. Um, MIT Loop, which is a consortium of other Hyperloop groups in the US, um, has shipped their pod. So congratulations. Um, Hyperloop UCD um, has uh, you know, gotten together a ton of sponsors. And this is just a cool uh, picture. It looks kind of like a cow. Um, and um, congratulations. Um, Hyperloop UCD, one loop. Um, next, Abhishkar, um, the only team from Asia, um, there's one team from Australia, but Abhishkar visited Hyperloop One Global Headquarters, um, spoke with Ryan Kelly, the Global Marketing and Communications Head, um, and Josh Geigel, um, the Chief Technology Officer, and got to uh, discuss the MOU signed with the Maharashtra governments from Mumbai to Pune. So that's cool. Congratulations and good job, Abhishkar, for setting up the time and, and going out to, to check out the headquarters. Um, finally, Hyperloop TT, or actually second to last, we'll end with Hyperloop TT. Oh, no, we will end with Hyperloop TT. Um, released this really fun, personable video of kids asking, where will they be? from my house to Hawaii. Maybe Singapore, maybe China, maybe Russia. Actually everywhere. I would build it all the way from Australia, all the way to Los Angeles, and it would go across water like on a bridge, and it would take only three hours to get there. Space, just fly up there, and go to Mars, chill there. Since our school is basically in our community, I would rather take the Hyperloop because it would only take like one second. We love the Hyperloop. I like it more than him. Nice Hyperloop CT. So on that, we're going to end it and um, stay in the loop.